Hi, it's day 16 of the 90 day video challenge and I'm just taking a quick break from work because I'm feeling really inspired right now. So uh, you may or may not know, but uh, last Sunday was the 40th birthday of our beloved Sydney Opera House and I work for Sydney Opera House and there's been all sorts of really fun and exciting things happening and I'm getting the opportunity to meet some pretty cool people. Um, and I've just come out of a meeting with Jan Utzen, who is Jan Utzen's um, architect son, who has a lot to do with the Opera House. And he's so cool. Like, you know when you meet people that are, well, not that this happens all the time, but you meet people that are quite well known in the world and you think that they've got some sort of, you'd expect that they don't want to associate themselves with certain people and all that crap, you know. But Jan is so cool. Like, he's just so relaxed and we you know, joked around in meeting, you know, in the meeting with my big boss and, you know, he'd tell me stories about all sorts of things. Um, and then I just came up with an idea and it's really interesting because it's sort of starting to really tie in like what I'm doing with my life right now, which is more in the architectural and built environment field, but also starting to combine the things that I want to do in the future. And so what my idea was, was that I should start interviewing architects and designers about what they do and why they're inspired by, by, by the works that they do and what it makes them feel and what their intention is for other people to experience in their works. And I actually, I didn't get the guts to do this and I'm kind of regretting it, but I'm seeing it all as, you know, everything's meant to happen for a reason. But I actually wanted to ask Jan if he wanted to be interviewed for about his own architecture and not just for his father's work because I imagine he gets asked so many questions all the time about the opera house and what it means to him and how it was for him as the son of the architect and I feel like I've had a quick look around on YouTube and I haven't found any videos specifically about Jan Utzen's work and him as an architect and, and what architecture means to him and what Danish architecture means to him. So. And it would be really great to get that, that story, you know, the story behind him as a person and not his father as a person to make him feel important. Um, and to time with this, it's also Sydney Architecture Festival um, coming up in the start of October. And it would be great to interview a lot of young architects as well and my friends and, you know, all of my architecture circle about what architecture means to them and, and you know, how, how they see themselves contributing to Australian society or to Danish society for my architecture friends in Denmark. And for anyone else that I know that, is, that does design an architecture around the world and to start sharing this story about what it means to them from their perspective and to start creating discussion amongst, you know, our generation of, of, of the upcoming leaders in the design world or in whatever field you're in. So that's my idea for the day. Um, it's raining and there's no one around, there's a couple of people around, but it's kind of nice that it's raining. It's, um, it's hopefully putting out all the bushfires that are happening around in, um, you know, in Greater Sydney in the bushlands. And maybe it can be time for a dance. <laughs> anyway, that's our video for today. Lots of inspiration. Have a great day. Bye.